Okay, for this video we're going to look at some of the features inside of your classes on Campus Cruiser. Your classes that are being taught can be accessed in a couple different ways. You can see that they are right here on your dashboard as well as the first selection up underneath academics. And also same thing up in your, up in your toolbar, fourth option. Uh, from the left, we will choose the one that we have here, with this, which is Ethics and Genetics. Uh, we're just going to concentrate on some of the class tools uh, that are given to you inside of Campus Cruiser. Uh, a lot of ways to communicate with the students. You can see that the first one is email, which of course would be uh, your email through Widener. And you can see that you can email all members or you can select maybe some, just some of the students if they're working in a group, or just one student if uh, you need to have a particular conversation with that student as well. Also available in uh, class tools is the opportunity to share files. Um, you can see here that we have different modules and PowerPoints uh, and presentations. It's as easy as uploading something. You can see that our upload is right in the middle there and we are able to browse whatever files may be on our computer in order to put those into Campus Cruiser as well. Uh, also inside of Class Tools, you have announcements which can be put on uh, that front board and uh, can be set with a bunch of different options. When are they exactly going to be posted? How long are they available for? Would you like them to expire? And then you get to see the status uh, being the, the administrator of the page uh, if that is actually expired as well. And you can see that those announcements are expired, but they are uh, still visible to you. So that's a good thing. Um, you also have blogs, which could be constant communication. This uh, class does not have any blog entries, but certainly uh, if you want students to communicate not just on a particular message, but throughout the marking period, uh, blogs would be a good case there. Um, if you're sharing photos, you can have photo albums, lots of good uh, bookmarking pages. Instead of using a bookmarking tool, you can put all the bookmarks that you need for particular uh, subjects and particular topics on here directly on Campus Cruiser. A uh, calendar may be a good option to maybe show when assignments are due and when quizzes are due or when the exams may be. Uh, students can also communicate through the message board. And you can see that again, the message board posts kind of coincide with those modules that we saw on all of the uh, uploads. And let's see, inside of class tools, we also have the syllabus. I would encourage all syllabuses to be online just so we could save some paper. And you can see that uh, these syllabuses were put online, so that's a great thing. And then our last option here under class tools is our tasks and you know that would be um, an assignment that a student might need to be completed and in this case this class didn't have uh, any tasks li listed under there i'm sure the assignments were under the modules as well if you need any help with any of those things let me know and i will be glad uh, to assist you a little bit further but that is a look inside of some of the class tools in a particular class on campus cruiser